Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel, Engine Nation. In this video today, we take you through the SpaceX and NASA's insane new moon base that will be ready by 2024. As we take a look through what we know thus far, make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. Let's begin. It's been decades since a man set foot on the moon. To touch the surface of the moon was the ambition of many countries since 1961. NASA's Apollo mission in the 1960s was a milestone in itself. They managed to do it safely, almost. And today, it's just impossible to believe how they managed to send people to the moon with just four kilobytes of RAM and very basic computers. With technology increasing by the day, and today we have NASA and SpaceX joining hands to not only send humans, but also to colonize the moon, starting as early as 2024. Apollo's twin sister named after the Greek goddess, and Apollo's twin sister Artemis, is the project being developed by NASA to take mankind to the moon base. It won't be an easy task, but not nearly as hard as back in the 1960s, since technology has radically increased, surpassing everyone's imagination. People barely survived and few died in pursuit of the moon. But people aren't ready yet to let go of the dream. A dream to build an ecosystem on the moon. This seems to become a reality this decade, as people will be living for a while on the lunar surface. This program is set forth to conquer and set a base camp on the surface of the moon. The Artemis program consists mainly of two major objectives to send a manned mission to the moon and to establish a permanent presence of humans on the lunar surface. The Artemis Base Camp, being the main highlight of the mission, is to develop a settlement at the South Pole region of the moon. This base settlement is further going to help deep space missions and will play a most important role in support of NASA and SpaceX's Mars mission. SpaceX absolutely crushed the competition. Blue Origin and Dynetics during the bidding for the contract, which is to develop and manufacture a spacecraft capable of making landings on the moon. NASA has given a contract of $2.9 billion to SpaceX to design and build a variant of Starship. SpaceX's flagship rocket being developed for Elon's mission of making it to Mars. This shall be altered and enhanced to land on the moon. Lack of heat shields and air brakes is the main difference between standard and HLS spacecraft. There are special thrusters made for HLS to descend and take off from the moon's surface, as the moon doesn't have an atmosphere to heat when landing. The journey ahead of Artemis's mission is NASA's vision into the future, which is a direct power to technology and modernizations that is going to help set foot on Mars someday. The aim is to build a sustainable infrastructure, a base camp, that's to perform as a station for long journeys. This is just one foot of accomplishment taken to explore beyond the frontier. First, SpaceX's HLS takes off from Earth equipped with super heavy boosters, which is expected to reach Moon's orbit in three days approximately. Then, just wander around orbit awaiting the astronaut crew, which is to be performed by NASA's SLS Orion, carrying four astronauts from Earth. SpaceX's HLS is supposed to work as a mediator to help transport astronauts from the lunar orbit to the moon's surface and back multiple times. HLS is designed as such to dock in orbit with either NASA's Orion or NASA's Lunar Gateway Space Station to take astronauts before descending to the moon. Two astronauts are meant to stay on the Lunar Gateway while the other two descend the gravity well along with Starship HLS. The first mission is to last about a week where various experiments are performed on the surface is to be explored. The crew rejoins the rest of the gateway after two weeks in orbit again. The base camp is planned to set up on the South Pole region of the moon. The Shackleton Crater, which is dark, frozen water-filled, almost in shadows, inside the ring, exposed to the sunlight, is which is considered to fit NASA's criteria to set up an ideal base. And Elon is also interested in that region as well. The region is favorable as there are traces of water, ample sunlight to keep solar-powered equipment running, and there is a moderate extreme temperature. The camp itself would make a habitat for astronauts, and all this being prepared as life support being their priority. NASA has already chosen SpaceX to land Americans on the moon. As part of NASA's Artemis program, people will be sent to explore more than the moon, and the agency has chosen SpaceX to continue construction of the first commercial human lander, which will safely transport the next two American astronauts to the lunar surface. 
one of those astronauts will go down in history as the first woman to walk on the moon. The Artemis mission program also aims to place the first person of color on the moon's surface. Four astronauts will be launched on the Orion spacecraft by NASA's powerful space launch system for a multi-day trek to lunar orbit. Two members of the crew will then transfer to the SpaceX human landing system for the final leg of their voyage to the moon's surface. They will board the lander for their short voyage back to orbit after spending about a week exploring the surface, where they will meet up with Orion and their colleagues before returning to Earth. The entire award value of the firm fixed price milestone based contract is $2.9 billion. With this grant, NASA and our partners will complete the first crew demonstration trip to the moon's surface in the 21st century, said Kathy Luders, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Explorations and Operations Mission Directorate. This vital milestone puts humankind on a road to long-term lunar exploration, while keeping our sights set on missions far out in the solar system, including Mars. I believe it will occur. I believe 2024 is a good bet. After the successful launch of SpaceX's Crew-2 mission, which is carrying four men to the International Space Station under a contract with NASA's commercial crew program, Musk remarked in a press conference on April 23rd. We're going to try and get there sooner, he continued. Indeed, Musk believes that Starship, a massive reusable rocket spaceship combination, would start flying passengers on a regular basis in 2023. With a giggle, he continued, Obviously, we shouldn't be building craters. I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm making good progress. We need to ensure that the rate of the invention is accelerated, and it may be ready in a few years. The Trump administration authorized NASA to conduct the first crewed Artemis landing by 2024, according to a report released in 2019. The deadline has been considered as unduly ambitious by experts, and it's uncertain whether it will be met under President Joe Biden. Why did NASA choose SpaceX? NASA contracts have already been fulfilled by SpaceX. They've developed from a modest startup to the world's leading aerospace corporation in the last two decades, launching cargo and astronauts at a rate that rival national space agencies cannot afford. NASA currently trusts SpaceX with the lives of its astronauts in order to reach the International Space Station, relies on the firm to supply the station, and entrusts NASA's most valuable research missions to their rockets. It will be the ultimate validation of the public-private partnership paradigm if Starship is successful in returning humans to the lunar surface. NASA will get a lunar lander for a fraction of the price of the Apollo-era lunar module, and SpaceX, a private company, will get autonomous access to the lunar surface, which was formerly the sole domain of one country. Both entities would move towards Mars in one rapid sweep. With the increasing population issue concerning many experts, Elon Musk's idea to set up a colony on Mars seems okay with many. However, many people are questioning the topic on ethical issues, like do we have the right to do so, and with it, many more questions are coming to the forefront. What will happen in the future is very hard to predict. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel Engine Nation for more videos just like this one. See you in the next video.